I'm Mika. I'm from Sweden and I'm a third year student at ITI. It was kind of a personal experience that uh, kind of made me realize how easy it is for people to renounce their responsibility and to kind of like allow themselves not to do anything and sit by and watch and how quick like social situations can become very nasty uh, when that is happening. Um, and I was thinking about this, like, uh, what is worse actually, to uh, do something that you might think is morally wrong or to, to just sit by and watch and allow it to happen. Um, and I was playing around with these thoughts and of course I landed in this very like classical uh, question, what is evil? And that took me to literature like Arendt and Dostoevsky and uh, Baumann and Goethe and stuff like that. And also a lot of biblical stories discussing this. The reason why uh, I wanted to explore this theme was because I also think it describes our relationship to the world today. So we live in this like super globalized world, uh, right? Where power feels so out of reach, like you can't change anything really. Um, and I think you become a sort of fool or a Don Quixote if you are really trying to imagine or fight for an alternative world. But at the same time, not dreaming or not imagining something different is also to allow, allow the current uh, order uh, to take place and to repeat itself day after day. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. We all know where this world is heading, right? So the question becomes, what is our responsibility in this world? But then it was uh, my mentor, Simon, who said, oh, you should just try it out. Um, and then I did, and it uh, was hard not to continue on that track. Uh, it also felt like it was a good language for, for the piece. You can fit in a lot of information in a song uh, on a very short, uh, in a very short time. Um, yeah. And, and I mean, it is a totally ridiculous idea <laughs> to make a musical. Uh, but the good thing with the FYIP is that it's your own project, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and I wanted to do a, a, a silly musical. <laughs> With puppetry, you get the opportunity to play many, many different characters, right? I think I'm playing like eight or nine of them at the moment, depending on how you count. And some characters were, of course, born from like the music or the lyrics, uh, the idea of the scene. But some uh, characters also grew very much uh, from how the puppet looked and worked. And some characters were also are also very much inspired by like my friends. Uh, uh, and yeah, real life uh, people. Fun actually writing the music. Uh, I think it's because uh, like melodies and music come very naturally to me, like when I'm walking to school or shopping for groceries. So I had lots of material I could work with. Uh, and then I play a little bit accordion, so I think that also kind of helped me find the right mood of the piece. Um, but then I'm, I'm also collaborating with a musician, right? Winston, who is doing the uh, arrangement for the piano. Um, 
And uh, the great thing with collaborating with someone is that you are kind of feeding your uh, or each other's creative processes. Uh, so uh, whatever I gave to Winston, like my first draft of the songs, um, always came back to me with like new textures and flavors and um, like sides of the songs that I uh, I weren't able to see or that he really enhanced. And that is that in its turn it really fed into my uh, staging and acting. So it becomes this like uh, back and forth uh, inspiration, which is really, uh, really, really fun to work with.